Hey, uh, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a good day. As you can probably read by the title, I finally picked up a new set of headers. I'm going to just show you guys real quick. So, uh, this is the Skunk 2 Alpha Series uh, V2 header. So, this is the version 2. So, um, right off the rip, these are like 10 times bigger than my current set of headers. But, uh, yeah, so, um, I got it for a good deal. I was originally going to buy a PLM tri uh header, but I saw this on the market for a pretty good deal. As, I mean, it's basically brand new. Like, it was only mounted on the car. All the exhaust ports are pretty good. Wells are still intact. But, like, uh, it's unfortunate I can't install it because, um, first and foremost, my current exhaust setup on the Integra is fully straight piped. There's really no res, no cats. A full 2.5 inch all the way back from the headers. And it's a Megan Racing. So, right past the header. Going towards the downpipe, or yeah, the downpipe, it's really uh, welded to the flex pipe with 2.5 inch only back. So, I can't really install this unless I get it, unless I get the, um, eh, the Skunk 2 Alpha Series header welded on to install it. And also, I'm going to be redoing my entire exhaust for, to a full 3 inch. Just to uh, free up some space, or to have more airflow. And, um, what's it called? Uh, fuck. Um, well, another reason why I'm redoing my exhaust is because uh, my current exhaust setup actually snapped it on me twice. Like, there's two pieces that had snapped, and it's really hailed by, like, uh, some exhaust some heat resistant tape so I have to get a new exhaust so I just picked it up some new headers and they're making racings I didn't realize how tiny these were compared to uh, the skunk 2 I mean this is like probably one of the nicest things I have for the motor wise until like I decided to start picking up more stuff but yeah, this, these things are huge. Like, there's no disconnect. It's just a full, like... It's kind of nuts. It just blows my mind to... Even have one of those... In in my position. Normally, they go for, like, 450 475 Close to 500 shipped. And I only got it for 220 So, I mean... You know... You would probably do the same thing, but like, yeah. But this thing drove good. I don't know why. I don't know what the hell is on these tires, but like, it's probably just some. Probably just need to just scrub it or something. But yeah, so far, Hyundai's driving good. Um, the only things I just need to change. For like inside the motor wise it's just there's uh accessories belt and a negative terminal these i just can't cut this in like a normally generic this is like a like a factory pacific made negative terminal which is annoying because it has a connector which is very odd but uh yeah new struts like hold up i got you like, I, I'm gonna just show you how bouncy the rear is. Like, this is only with one hand. Don't mind the mess, but the whole car rocks. I should not be able to do that with just one hand. So, just imagine I'm going like 60 miles an hour on the highway. <laughs> how bouncy this shit is so it's 
gonna just get new brakes and KYB struts in her rear, change the accessories belt and get a new negative terminal. I mean, it works for now. I mean, I had it, I had a nail stuck to this thing for like a good eight, nine months now. It's okay, but it's not ideal to, you know. I swear to God, if they fail with inspection for some stupid shit like that, I will really take the inspector's face and shove it in. Oh that would be so dumb if they fail me because of that shit. But, um, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, I just want to show you guys, like, what's been going on and stuff. And, uh, update for the throttle body. Um, I still haven't taken it to the, uh, to a shop to have them take out the um the st uh the stud and also i didn't buy my new tps but what i did in the meantime was uh changed up most of my uh pcv uh lines got new uh yeah i just went to like autozone just got some generic fuel lines new line there New coolant lines. It's like like little stuff, but I mean I still have to change that sensor again. But yeah. As soon as I uh buy my new CPS, get rid of get that stud out and get the the throttle body back on the car, we'll be able to start again and I'll be able to move it out of the grass. It's been sitting like this for the past three weeks <laughs> literally three weeks gonna be four next week so almost a damn near just about a month i still need to break in the clutch but as that time is being i sh just rack up a few uh checks or whatever and then i'll go into a um a shop called JPC. It's pretty comp. It's pretty a lot of like car enthusiasts around my area go to them for like their exhaust or their custom exhaust and stuff. Just any like fab work or anything like that. But uh, on that note, uh, I hope you guys have a good one. And uh, damn, uh, I don't know what the next video is gonna be. Probably the brakes or the struts, but. Until then, I hope you guys are having a good one, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.